Hello, this is Lars from Native Instruments. In this video, we show you how to uninstall Native Instruments software and drivers from a Mac computer. If you wish to uninstall Tractor software from a Mac system, please refer to the article linked in the info section of this video. Sometimes it is necessary to uninstall and reinstall your Native Instruments software as a solution for technical issues. The following directories shown in this video include all the files and folders required to delete for a successful uninstall of a product. However, depending on the product and product version you are using, some of these files or folders will not exist. Here we will use contact as an example of an application and plugin to uninstall. First, browse to the following directory. Macintosh HD Applications Native Instruments Right-click on the folder with the name of the product you wish to uninstall and choose Move to Trash. Each time you delete a file or a directory, in case Finder asks you for permission to make changes, enter your username and password and click OK. Now, browse to the next location. Here, delete the plist file for your product. The Native Instruments plist files are found under com.native-instruments. Here, delete the component file of your product. Here, Delete the VST file of your product. Note that with some products, there may be various VST files to delete, as is the case here with Contact. If your system has this folder, delete the DPM file of your product. Here, delete the AAX plugin file of your product. Here, delete the folder of your product. Here, delete the XML file of your product. Here, we will delete the user settings. In case you want to reinstall your product and keep your user settings, please simply skip this step. Note that the user library folder is hidden. To access it, click on Go in the menu bar and press down the Alt key. The library entry in the menu will appear. Browse to the file name starting with com.native-instruments and delete the plist file which includes your product's name. Here, delete the folder of your product. Please note that to access this directory, you also have to click Go in the menu bar, press down the Alt key, and choose Library. Once you have deleted all these files and folders, empty the trash, and restart your computer. If you wish to fully uninstall a native instruments content product, like a contact library or a reactor product, there is also library content that can be deleted. Please note that in most cases, it is not necessary to uninstall the library to fix common issues. You can safely leave this folder in place in most cases, unless the problem you are having is related to the library content itself. Here, we show you how to uninstall the content of a contact library. As our example, we will uninstall the Action Strikes library. Browse to the location of your library. You can check the installation path of your library in Native Access. Go to the Install Products tab, select your product, and choose Installation Path. 
If you did not define a custom path in Native Access's preferences before installing your product, you will find the content libraries in the default location. Macintosh HD Users Shared and the folder named after the product. Here, delete the folder containing the library you wish to uninstall. Next, browse to Macintosh HD Library Preferences and delete the plist file of your library found under com.native-instruments followed by the product's name. Finish the uninstallation by emptying the trash and restarting your computer.